Let me share with you the most dangerous men on this planet. Women, pay attention. The most dangerous men on this planet are disciplined men. Disciplined men. You've got nothing on them. Who is a disciplined man? That man that say he doesn't want to do something and he does not do it. That man that have boundaries and principles. That man that has do's and don't. That man that has respect, dignity. That's a disciplined man. Even the men who womanize fear a disciplined man because they know that they have nothing against you. When you are disciplined, it's so difficult for people to mess you up. <laughs> because when they want to mess you up as a man, either they use drink, they use a woman, they must use one thing or the other. But when you are disciplined, you know when to go home, you know when to say no, you said and you stick to it, it will be hard. And let me tell you something, when you are disciplined, people will dislike you. When you are disciplined, they will say you are arrogant. When you are disciplined, they will say you are forming. When you are disciplined, they are going to call you names because you are not like them. They are going to hate you when you are disciplined because they do not have power to control you. Discipline simply means you have power over yourself. You control what you do. You control what you say. People do not control you. Do you know that a lot of men actually womanize because other men are womanizing? Do you know that a lot of men actually cheat because other men are cheating? Do you know that a lot of men do not have the reasons why they do all the nonsense that they do? No reason. They are just doing it because everybody is doing it. Some men are actually misbehaving because they feel that misbehavior makes them a man. Some men are misbehaving because they saw other men misbehaving. That is a foolish man. A disciplined man knows his left to his right. A disciplined man will tell you why he does not want to do what he's not doing. He's a dangerous man. That is the kind of man you should be looking for as a woman there are very few of them we have a lot of foolish men littered around the streets men who want to do what every other person is doing men who want to feel among men who want to cheat on you to prove to their friends that they are a man men who want to cheat on you to prove to their friends that their wife is not controlling them you need to see the flimsy reasons why a lot of men cheat on you. It's not because you're a bad woman. It's because they want to prove that they are men. Yes, cheating to a lot of men is proving that you are not the only woman that can keep them down. A lot of men are not cheating on you because you're not a good woman. A lot of men are cheating on you because they want to prove a point. Do you know that a lot of ignorant men actually feel that when they are faithful to one woman, that the woman is controlling them? Do you know a lot of men actually have this mentality that if it is only her, their friends are going to laugh at him? Some men are cheating on you just to make their friends happy. Some men are cheating on you because they feel that cheating on you gives them power over you. You cannot just be only this man. If I keep only her, she'll be for me. That's a foolish man. A disciplined man keeps one woman because he understands that when I have one woman, I have to be focused. I don't want to be distracted. The men who keep too many women around them are men who do, are not focused. Because when you have too many women around you, you are going to be distracted. So look for a disciplined man. They are dangerous. They are rare. They are wonderful. It is a disciplined man that is called a husband material. It is a disciplined man that considers his family. It is a disciplined man that has priority. A man that is not disciplined does not have priority. Do you know the meaning of priority? When you have something on your top list. A lot of men don't have priority. That's the reason why they can use their last card to go and patronize a shawu. That's why they can give their last card to a side chick. And they've not paid their children's school fees. And there's no food in the house. That is a foolish man. A disciplined man understands what priority means. What comes first before enjoyment. A disciplined man knows that I need to do this thing first before I go and start flex. That's a disciplined man. 
And that is what a lot of you women need to look out for. Because the problem is many of you women don't know what to look out for. You just go for physical appearance. Hey, you get swag, you get vibe, you get cruise, you get beers, you tall, you get you just fine. I like the way when they talk, you get vibe. That's not what you're looking for. You are looking for a disciplined man. A man that can prioritize. A man that can say no. A man that can say, I have where I'm going to. I don't want any distraction. That's the kind of man you should be looking for. Not a man that wants to impress. Not a man that wants to misbehave to prove that he's a man. Just because we are in a lawless country where society have given them the liberty to misbehave. That's not the kind of man you are looking for. A man that is listening to them say, them say, I for do this one, but them say, my friend, they say, they can't talk, say. That's not the kind of man you're looking for. You're looking for a man that knows what he wants in a woman. And when he sees it, he sticks to her. So as a woman, you need to pay attention to a disciplined man. That is what it means to marry a good man. A man that knows his left to his right. Not a chikote kwan, undi biam biam. No, they are going to frustrate you. They will frustrate you. So as a woman, I want you to pay attention. And as a man, I want to teach you something on this video. Let me tell you something. Hmm? You see, when you misbehave sometimes, you actually think that you are hurting the woman that is in your life. No, you are not. You are hurting yourself. Many of you men are miserable just because of the life that you have lived. And I want to ask you a question on this video as a man. All those bad things you think you are doing, all these games you think you are playing, all those cheating and sleeping around, who do you think you are doing? You are doing yourself. Because by the time you finish sleeping with different prostitutes, by the time you finish sleeping with different women, by the time you finish playing, it messes up your mindset. You begin to have trust issues. You begin to have insecurity issues. That's the reason why your relationship and marriage is not working. That's the reason why you are frustrated. It's because you've messed up and polluted your mind. Every woman around you begins to look like all the women that you are sleeping with. The reason why you feel that every woman is an Ashawu is because you always patronize Ashawu. The reason why you cannot trust a woman or love a woman is because you have slept with too many women. You begin to see every woman like the woman that you are sleeping with. At the end of the day, you are messing up your mindset. At the end of the day, you are the one that will be miserable. At the end of the day, you are the one that will be fighting with yourself. Because when you have insecurity issues and you have trust issues, you are going to be miserable. A lot of men are miserable. In as much as they are shouting, go and marry, many men are miserable. You are miserable because of the life that you have chosen to live. Because sometimes when you are living all this miserable life, you think that you are punishing a woman. No, you are not. You will only hurt a woman and she will move on. But you will punish yourself. You will give yourself an undying pain. Because you are going to pollute your mind. Because your mind is who you are. Some of you have never found true love because of your mindset. Some of you have never found true love because you sleep around. Some of you have never found true love because you are a cheat. Do you know what happens to you? When you finish doing all those nonsense, it begins to come back to you. You begin to think that you can't trust any woman. You can't love any woman. Because all of them are Olosho. Because that's who you are. You always patronize Olosho. When your girlfriend is coming, you are looking, you become insecure. You begin to battle with yourself. That's what happens to a lot of men. And that's why I always tell women, calm down. Men need you women more than you need them. The only thing that most men do is they project themselves to you. What a lot of men used to use women and abuse women is projection. Go and marry. You never marry. They need you. If they don't need you, they would not ask you to come and marry them. Some of them want to, you to come and marry them, to help them, to assist them. Because that's a woman's job, to help and to assist. So all they do is project marriage. That's why I say calm down. So that you stop making wrong choices. When they finish misbehaving and useless in their life, they start to project marriage. So that you can come and manage them, help them after they finish spoiling. So women, you need to pay attention. These men will not finish messing up their lives and misbehaving. And at the end of the day, you don't want to come and be packing sheets. You cannot comport yourself. Put yourself together. Tell all those men, no. Close your leg. Get a decent job. Not do prostitution. And end up with a stupid, randy man who decided to sleep with anything in skirts. He will mess your life up. He will pollute your life. That's why you see most of all these randy men, when they are done wasting their life, they start looking for a good gay. Most of the randy men who patronize prostitutes and sleep around are always looking for innocent girls to marry. So that they can pollute your life. That's what they do. No! So what do they do? They start to project themselves. You need a man. You never marry. It's so that they can come and frustrate your life. A lot of men just want to marry you to frustrate you. 
They are looking for a good girl to frustrate. How many good girls have married randy men and enjoyed marriage? Go and ask so many girls who lived a good life and ended up marrying stupid set of men. They became stupid. The man will drive you crazy. You cannot keep this beautiful life. You cannot comport yourself and end up with a stupid man. That is the reason why I'm telling you that you should pay attention to a man that have dignity, a man that have discipline. That's what you deserve. That's the reason why you kept yourself. That's the reason why you stole a lot of men. No. That's the reason why you got a good job. That's the reason why you did not do what all your friends are doing. You cannot keep yourself this long and settle for an idiot. Just because society is projecting marriage to you, you end up with a fool that is going to mess up every beautiful things that you have built. So please, beautiful women, pay attention with a man that is disciplined, a man that has core value, a man that has priority, that can say, this one we come first, this one we come second, not to randy noisemakers. They will frustrate you because they already have a mindset. They are not frustrating you because they don't love you. They will love you, but they will frustrate you because they have a mindset of insecurity. No matter how good you are, you'll be a prostitute to them because they've always been patronizing prostitutes. No matter how good you are, you'll always be a Ron's girl because they always patronize Ron's girls. No matter how good you are, you'll always be an Ashao because they always patronize. They always see themselves in their women. So you need to be careful. They will frustrate you with their insecurity and the bad lives that they have lived. So as a woman, you need to pay attention. Don't be desperate and go and pick something that you do not know. Don't be desperate and go and pick a man that's going to mess up your entire lives and dream. Pay attention and stop falling for their projection of, go and marry, go and marry, you don't, go and marry. All those useless noise is called projection. They need help. They need you more than you need them. Don't forget we have an office right here in Lagos. And if you want to talk to a therapist, feel free to walk into our office. And if you want to make an inquiry, call the number 070-195-11795. I got you and I love you anytime.